Hi, welcome to Tool Time with Eric. Today I am bringing something that is just a bunch of fun. It's not a necessity, but it is another all-in-one tool. It is the Stanley Fubar, a big old chunk of steel with a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> In the interest of full disclosure, I do work for a Stanley distributor. However, I'm not speaking on behalf of Stanley or my company. I paid for this with my own money. Um, I have absolutely nothing to do with, uh, or Stanley has absolutely nothing to do with the production of this video. I'm only making it because I like this tool and I think that you'll like it too. So this is a forcible entry tool, is what it's uh, classified under. It's got a uh, pry bar there. You know, you can put it, put this into a door and then you hammer the hammer head in to pry open. So it's something that firefighters could use. It's got a small wrench here and another one here for uh, water main shutoff. Oh, it's got another one there too. So you can do water main shutoff. You can, um, if there's any kind of large nuts that would fit in here, I don't know. I don't use it for that. I use it for a hammer. You'll see that in our video of installing the hay manger. I use it as a hammer there. I have to say it's not the best hammer. A dedicated hammer works much better, but it's got some heft to it, so it's got enough mass to drive in nails. Main ways that I use this tool, I use the pry bar and here to disassemble pallets. It's got these really long teeth here, so when I'm in putting in pallets, or when I'm taking apart pallets, I can wedge it. If, if, <laughs> if this is the nail, you can wedge it in between the nails and pry up. You can see that there's some corrosion going on up here, a little bit of deforming from sticking it into the pallet and then taking another hammer and hitting it here. And then it's a big old pallet, so I just step right there and it lifts it right up. It's got the reflective tape on it. Um, again, I'm guessing that's more for fire and rescue type situations, although if you're like me and you're using three or four tools in one setting, sometimes you set it down, you don't know where you set it, this is very easy to find. It, your, the eye is drawn to it. So wrench, 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 hammerhead, pry bar, reflective, piece for a lanyard where you can if you need to hang it from your gear. It's big and clunky. I don't really find that handy, but for some people who might need this in a different line of work, it can be useful to tether right there. The other, the other last use that I use it for is this hook end for the forced entry. I'll use that to, so I don't have to bend over all the way, and I can hook a pallet and drag it, drag it this way, drag it this way, pick up a pallet, carry it with this right here. Um, I have some inflammation in my wrist, so it makes moving pallets a little bit easier. So this tool, definitely not an essential, but it's really cool and I like it. So that's why I included it on this week's tool time and even use it to install my hay manger. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications so you can know when we release a new video. Um, in the comments, we're really looking forward to comments here. It will help our channel grow. So if you have this tool, let me know how you use it. If you don't have this tool, let me know how you would use it. Um, also in the comments, I would ask you to put in what you would want next for our Tool Time with Eric video series. Um, if there's any tools that you have, if I have them too, I'll do a video on them. Um, so put that down in the comments and thank you for watching have a great day god bless